affects millions of people all by sitting in a chair. This chair is reportedly treating urinary incontinence. Urogynecologist Dr. Red Allenson joins us to explain with his guests, Kitty and Nancy, exactly what's going on. So, Dr. Allenson, number one, does this really work and how the heck is it working? Well, this is a revolu revolutionary procedure that really does work and help patients. It's an FDA approved device that uses electromagnetic waves and focuses it onto the woman's pelvis and gives over 12,000 contractions in about 28 minutes. So, Doc, you're talking about 12,000 Kegels? 12,000 Kegel exercise contractions, but much harder than you can physically do on your own. And how long would that take, ladies? Yes. Right? Yeah. I think that's, well, a, that, that's, a, that's a lifetime of Kegels, right. I think. It is, but I'm just wondering, ladies, how does this feel? Because I imagine it must be pretty intense to sit there yeah, and have feels, that many it Kegels. It feels really good. It feels almost like an orgasm. It's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Women, women are gonna come to you and like, I don't have, I, I don't have incontinence, but um, but I heard you have this chair that does something else too as a side effect. I would like to sit on the chair, please. But, but Dr. Ansad, this is a very serious issue. So that being said, I mean, a lot of women suffer from this. Explain to us how it helps. Well, what this does is it focuses that energy. The magnets down below are quite powerful, and it makes the muscles contract quite hard. It's like a workout for your pelvis, and it actually causes the muscles to hypertrophy or get bigger. It also helps the nerves become less overreactive so that the patient who feels that they have to pee all the time or are waking up at night frequently and can't get good sleep, those nerves seem to be calmed down. Also, it strengthens the muscles strong enough so that you can contract and control that accident, that urine that keeps leaking out when you cough, you sneeze, you jump. It strengthens and helps the nerves, both at the same time. All right, so Nancy, you, you've actually completed your six sessions. That happened several months ago. So today, you're getting a little bit of a maintenance session, correct? Yes, yeah, I am. I feel so much better. I have way less more accidents. My confidence has boosted up. This worked for me. And Kitty, you gave us a little bit of an idea how, how this feels for you, but, but that being said, I mean, is this something that you would want to continue and? Yes, uh, most definitely. <laughs> My That's a strong yes. Is that a real question? Is that a real question? Yeah. 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 So, so Nita, such, a, such so many women. It's so many women. So urinary incontinence impacts 200 million people worldwide. So really, really common. Even some people in the audience are saying, yes, yes, me too, me too. And when we look at incontinence, you know, there are a number of different causes. Pregnancy, childbirth, menopause, obesity. We know that as people age, the prevalence and also the severity of incontinence will increase. And typically, we will tell people to do things like those Kegel exercises at home. We'll offer them pelvic physical therapy or maybe nerve stimulation. Uh, in some instances, some types of medications are appropriate depending upon the type of incontinence they have or they'll go to surgery. Now, I do want to ask, there are different types of incontinence. Sometimes people will have incontinence when they cough, laugh, sneeze. That's stress urinary incontinence. In some instances, people say, well, I was fine and then all of a sudden I had to go. And so when you got to go, you got to go. That's that's urge incontinence. Sometimes you have a combination of them and then there are other types. So I want to ask, what does this procedure treat? Any specific type of incontinence or like who's an ideal candidate? I have the combination. I did too. And I did. Yeah. The FDA has approved it for urinary incontinence that can be both the stress incontinence type, the one where you leak when you cough, sneeze, and jump, and it's also FDA approved for the kind where you get the urge, the frequency, feeling like you have to pee all the time, every hour, every half hour. Yeah. You can't finish a movie. You can't go on a long airplane flight. So it's approved for that, for both types of incontinence. And it also does help those people who don't have that sensation to pee and their bladder gets overfull. Mm -hmm. That's called overflow incontinence. Yeah. And it helps those type of patients too. So this we affectionately call the pee-pee chair because <laughs> it will help those with pee-pee problems.
So, well, Dr. Alonsad, I'm just curious, is this procedure covered by insurance? Unfortunately, not at this time. It's not covered by the insurance. The average payment per session is between two and three hundred dollars approximately, and it's affordable enough for the patient to have a three-week treatment. You need one treatment twice a week, so that's two times a week for three weeks, and touch-ups every three or four months. If you get pelvic floor physical therapy, that's usually about a 12-week course. So this cuts it down dramatically to a three-week session, and it helps the patient in a shorter amount of time. And I, I do love that you said it's FDA approved. I also really like that you're hitting three big categories when it comes to types of incontinence. I would really be excited to see larger studies where we're looking at even more women and looking at those long-term benefits. So I think this is really exciting. It's a great option um, and hopefully we can continue to evolve and kind of nurture the whole process and maybe we'll come up with something that's long-term that's just as convenient. Many and studies are currently out there examining the long-term effects of this device. This device is not new. This technology has been around for over a decade, except now we have stronger magnets, we have smarter software, and I believe this is going to stay in the field of OBGYN and urology. But I do, I do want to say one thing, and I, I don't know if maybe you have a pen. I want you to write this down. Make sure you tell the researchers not to get rid of that orgasmic side effect. That's very important. Okay. Yeah. Write that down. That since this relies on magnets, please make sure to tell your doctor if you have any metal implants as well, yeah. because that yeah. could be very dangerous. Yes. Dr. Allen said technology is crazy interesting, and, and guest Kitty and Nancy, thanks for coming, and best of luck Thank to you. you. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss what's coming up next. Coming up, the